Ahoy there cruisers, this is a full ship tour of the Norwegian Encore in 4K Ultra HD. Stick with us as we take a look around the whole ship and its unique features. Let's start with the top sun decks. There's two water slides that are three decks high, the Aqua Racer and the terrifying Ocean Loops. There are four hot tubs and plenty of sun loungers. On deck 16 you'll find two large pools and more loungers, as well as the kids' aqua park and bars. The ship comes to life on a night with deck and dance parties. The Speedway now claims the longest racetrack at sea. It's over 1,100 feet long, the cars are faster and the track hangs over the side of the ship. Behind the speedway you'll find the Laser Tag Arena. It's themed around the lost city of Atlantis. Both the speedway and the laser tag are an extra charge. One deck below is the new Galaxy Pavilion. This replaces Spice H2O found on other breakaway class ships. This area is a VR theme park featuring motion simulators and Oculus virtual reality. We tried most of the rides and it really is an awesome experience but it comes in at an extra charge. The American Diner is a speciality restaurant serving authentic American dishes. It replaces Margaritaville at sea. It even has overhead heaters so you can dine whatever the weather. Le Bistro is the French speciality restaurant. Ooh la la! We've tried this on other ships and it really is delicious. Don't believe us? Then ask the, well you know the rest. If you're feeling fit, you can visit the Pulse Fitness Centre. And next door is the Mandara Spa and Salon. The Garden Cafe is the onboard buffet. Located at the front of the ship, it's really huge. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. You'll find a drink station serving complimentary tea, coffee, water and juice. And for an extra charge, there's a Starbucks machine and wine stations. It offers a huge array of food, 
as well as themed nights. Moving down one deck we have the observation lounge. This is our favourite spot on the ship. It's huge and offers light bites and drinks throughout the day. The panoramic windows at the front offer spectacular views. Down to deck 8, we're going to take a look around at another favourite, the waterfront. It's an outdoor promenade deck with a bar and a la carte dining from some of the speciality restaurants. It's the perfect place at sunset to relax and watch the world go by. The A-List Bar is located between two speciality restaurants. The first is Los Lobos, the Mexican-themed restaurant, serving Mexican favourites with a modern twist. Next door is our favourite restaurant on Norwegian ships, Cagney Steakhouse. It serves premium steak and seafood dishes. It's definitely worth a visit. Towards the centre of the ship, you'll find the photo gallery and the Trade Winds duty free shops. The new rose-themed chandelier covers three decks in the centre of the ship. It's huge and really beautiful. Here you'll find another speciality restaurant, Ocean Blue. It offers seafood dishes and features an outdoor seating area. Unfortunately, Ben has a seafood allergy, so this one isn't for us. However, we're not spot for choice on this ship. At the opposite side is the sugarcane mojito bar. You must try the coconut mojito, it's really yummy. Moving along we have the Maltings Whiskey Bar and the adjoining Humidor Cigar and Smoking Lounge. Just next door is the Cavern Club. It's a replica of the famous Liverpool Music Club. It hosts Beatles music and tribute bands. Just opposite is the Cellars Wine Bar. It also offers a tapas style a la carte menu.
Onda by Scarpetta is the brand new Italian specialty restaurant and mamma mia we had a delicious meal here. It was much better than La Cucina found on other ships. Again, you can choose to eat on the waterfront. The district brew house offers an impressive array of draft beers on tap. It also includes live entertainment and tabletop games. Food Republic is another favourite of ours. It's the Asian Fusion Speciality Restaurant. You order your food here using iPads on the table. One deck down you'll find the Encore Theatre, with productions including The Choir of Man and Broadway show Kinky Boots, you're in for a treat as both shows were absolutely fantastic and some of the best we've seen at sea. The local bar and grill serves complimentary pub food 24 hours a day. It's really tasty too, serving dishes like fish and chips, chicken wings and nachos. Yummy! The casino is located in the centre of the ship. We have to say a big well done to Norwegian for placing a separate smoking section in a confined room just off the side. At the back of the ship you'll find the first of the three included main dining rooms. The Manhattan Room is an impressive restaurant with large windows all around. It also features a stage and a dance floor for live performances during dinner. Down to deck 6 you'll find Q Texas Smokehouse. It's another specialty restaurant offering authentic Texas style barbecue. It also features a stage with live country music. The atrium is in the centre of the ship, with live game shows, live music and movies on the big screen. It really is the heart of the ship. You'll also find guest services and the internet cafe located here. You'll also find a Starbucks coffee shop. Just opposite, you'll find the Atrium Bar. Mm -hmm. 
Back in the centre of the ship you'll find Coco's. It's the onboard chocolate shop offering handmade crepes, truffles and other desserts. At the other side you'll find the social comedy club and nightclub. It has a main stage area for comedians and two rooms just off to the side with fabulous green and red themes. Towards the back is the final specialty restaurant, Teppanyaki. This is a super fun dining experience, where the talented chefs cook at your table. Further back is the art gallery. This will take you to the mix bar which sits in between two of the other included main dining rooms. The first of which is Saver Restaurant. And on the other side, Taste, both offering the same menu. So what did we think of the Norwegian Encore? Well, we were impressed because there's so much on offer, but with so many extra charged dining venues, it's definitely worth booking a package to save money. And trust us when we say the dining is worth it, you would pay much more on a land-based vacation for this quality of dining. Bear in mind some of the activities have an extra charge, so keep this in mind when booking. We wouldn't hesitate to sail on Norwegian Encore again. If you'd like to support us further, please take a look at our Patreon. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.